Maybe we could take a little journey, you and I, right now. Let's hop on I-15 and go south. Let's get off on the North Springville exit and then turn onto Main Street. And as you do, look off to your left and you'll see the old Springville Fish Hatchery. Used to visit that when I was a little boy, you know, 60, 70 years ago. I have memories of that. Well, here's a memory of that that was created for us by John Hafen. In 1893, two years after he had returned from his mission in Europe, where he was sent by the church leaders with three other artists to learn to paint. He came back and he painted the Salt Lake Temple, the, uh, the garden room. And this is very similar to the paint and the paintings in color and in execution that were in the garden room in the Salt Lake Temple. I think you'll see here, he's done a couple of little things that are very interesting. He's taken and put a diving board. So he's made this into a little more than just a spring. Here he has the old swimming hole in Springville on Spring Creek and uh, the beautiful surroundings of the cow and the mountains and the foliage and just this little private view here with the beautiful colors. You know, we sent many of our great artists to France to learn to paint. David McCullough said that the greatest artists went to Europe to learn. You know, we didn't have any art schools in America at that time that were significant. So this was the place to go. You know, I can visualize Hafen with Monet in the gardens of Giverny with the water lilies and the beautiful greenery. And this is a, an emblem of that. Well, here we have a great masterpiece. And I don't mean to overstate it, but the reality is that of Hafen's approximately 600 works that he did in his lifetime, he died when he was 50, so he had a short career. This is among the top two or three that would be in private hands. And I've been told that by the person who is writing the book on John Haven. Here we have something that we can feed our souls with, that we can enjoy. We can see the beauty and the history that is represented in our state and by our very gifted artists of long ago. Thank you so much.